video does not promote violence. The video contains scenes of predatory insects feeding, accompanied by a fantastic story. On the territory of the largest desert, the remains of a creature that, according to scientists, it's no less than a million years old were discovered. The desert has always held many secrets, and most of its territory had no been explored until now. Every year, new species of living beings were discovered in the desert, but none of the group of military archaeologists could have imagined what they would encounter. It all started quite simply. Local residents of the desert noticed a massive bone protruding from the sand, and a group of archaeologists was called in to excavate it, eventually unearthing the enormous skull of a prehistoric creature. The military arrived to control the excavation and prevent information leaks to the media. The excavation site was guarded by a group of armed military personnel, and only archaeologists were allowed to descend from the rocky terrain onto the sand. At that moment, no one knew what they would face, as the depths of the sand were inhabited by predatory creatures capable of dragging their prey into the shifting sands. Several days passed, and the group of military scientists set up camp on the large rocky ground, as setting up camp on the sand was impossible. During this time, predatory creatures of the desert gathered around the excavation site due to the noise and vibrations of the nearby machinery. The creatures briefly emerged from the sand and then began to spread out beneath the sand across the entire archaeological excavation area. During the night, something strange happened. Strange sand funnels began to appear around the military base. A group of vigilant military personnel immediately began to monitor the situation. In the morning, this information was relayed to the command, and archaeologists were not allowed to continue the excavations. Instead, the commanding officer ordered one armed military scout to recon to the area and report back to the command post. The situation seemed truly strange and suspicious to the military. Among the soldiers, rumors circulated that someone had decided to sabotage the mission to steal valuable and expensive artifacts. The military personnel were heavily armed, and their training for such cases had taken years. Now was the moment when one of the soldiers wanted to prove himself on such an unusual assignment to earn a reward and a substantial bonus. For this purpose, he went to the excavation site to investigate the sand funnels that had formed and ensure the safety of the area. Due to his carelessness, he slipped into one of the enormous funnels and was immediately seized by an underground monster. The soldier tried to use his weapon to free himself from the creature's grasp. Realizing that he could not escape on his own, he called for assistance via radio. A soldier from the special forces in heavy armor came to the rescue. It was difficult for him to move through the sand, and he frequently got stuck. To aid the armored soldier, a foot soldier in lightweight armor was sent. While passing through the sandy funnels, the soldier narrowly escaped being dragged underground by the monsters. He struggled to fend them off with his powerful weapon, and possibly thanks to his excellent training, he managed to barely escape. The terrified soldier fled the battlefield, leaving his comrades behind. He had never seen such monsters before, and at the sight of them, the only desire was to run as far away as possible. At that moment, only the soldier's weapon was visible from the first soldier. He was already buried in the sand. The armored special forces soldier saw the second soldier running and tried to help his comrade. But due to the heavy weight of the armor, he couldn't do anything. At this time, the underground monsters did their best to prepare their traps to capture as many victims as possible. Fallen into the funnel with the armored soldier, he asked to inform the common to take care of his family. The soldier understood that the desert did not forgive mistakes and knew 
what fate awaited him. The surviving soldier made his way through the desert oasis and faced numerous challenges. With his last strength, the armored soldier managed to stand up and heroically attempted to destroy the sand funnels. He succeeded to destroy one of the funnels and immediately rushed to rescue the first scout soldier. When he reached the funnel with the soldier, he witnessed a horrifying sight and all he could do was report the casualties to the command. This time, thanks to the fact that the Special Forces soldier summoned all his remaining strength, he survived and most likely he would remember the battlefield for a long time. No one among the military could have imagined that the desert could be so dangerous and the archaeologists were the luckiest as they were saved in time. The common post communicated via satellite that they needed assistance because the government has given a clear task to retrieve the prehistoric remains first. The excavation site was located on natural territory and because of this, a race for the right to be the first to find these valuable artifacts could arise among several states.